What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In today's video in, of Beginner Tips, we're going to show you how to kind of set your stuff up pre-game so you don't have to pause, use the pause menu 500 times and waste your time in-game. So here's how you can save your settings so that you can become, uh, you know, just focus on the game at hand. How do you set your audibles in Madden NFL 25? Well, you're going to scroll over and use our tip from last week on making a custom playbook and coaching options and go to customize playbook and there you can create any playbook you want set certain audibles for certain playbooks and also just create the ultimate playbook as I have with my Madden 25 playbook or just create audibles as I have with the Arizona playbook, the Cowboys playbook, the Colts playbook and several others. You can do the same thing defensively as you see I've done with my ultimate Madden 25 playbook and I've also done it for the 3-4, the uh, Carolina playbook and the 4-3 playbook. So that's how you would set your audibles. Now let's take a look at how you can save your playbook so that you don't have to select it every single time at the pre-call screen. What you want to do is you want to go into help or settings and it's right next to the custom playbook se section. And you just want to come over to settings here. It's actually the first one to adjust your experience. And what you're going to do when you're in settings is you want to go to game options. And here's going to give you an option to set your favorite team, your favorite offensive playbook, your favorite defensive playbook, and certain settings that you can use in game. So for me, I'm a big fan of the 4-4 playbook in Madden 25. Actually, it's the 4-3 playbook, more specifically the 4-4 formation. So I'm going to the, select the 4-4 playbook, uh, or what my custom playbook for the 4-4 defense as my defensive playbook. And on offense, I've been really liking the Washington Redskins playbook lately. So I'm going to set it as my offensive playbook. And as you guys know, my favorite team in Madden is the Dallas Cowboys. And then the next thing you can do as you scroll down here, um, this is kind of just stuff for offline mode, but as we get down, we see auto, we can do things with auto strafe, ball hawk, heat seeker, and switch assist. I like to turn auto strafe off. I like to turn heat, heat seeker on. Some people like to disable it. I like to enable the ball hawk feature. And I like to disable switch assist. So this is going to give me the most control, I feel like, over my opponent, or over my user players, and give me the best chance to make good plays with uh, my user control. Now we're going to take a look at, and also, you firstly, secondly, you want to save changes and, and, and just look down at the bottom. For PlayStation, we hit select. I'm not quite sure what Xbox hits. I think they hit the back button, but it's the same thing. Just find out what the save button is on Xbox. You need to save your changes every time you make a change. That way, that when you turn your game off or your game shuts off for, on accident, you won't lose all the things that you just did. So now you're going to see, I'm going to go back into my game options. And now, forever saved will be these playbooks until I change them again, and these settings, which is great, because that way I don't have to mess with them again. It'll save you about two minutes every time getting online, and that's why you won't ever have to mess with it. Now we're going to take a look at um, how to set your depth chart. So what you want to do is you want to go to online head-to-head -head mode, which can be found in the play tab. And you're going to go to your, uh, it's going to load up here, and you're going to go to your depth chart. Now, sometimes when you go to your depth chart, it's going to ask you to update your roster. You want to do that every time as it's going to give you updates uh, with player ratings and depth chart ratings and also trades and signings throughout the season. When you go into your depth chart mode, if you want to make some changes, say, for example, you want to put DeMarcus Ware at left defensive end instead of right. Well, what you want to do is you can easily do that through the depth chart screen so for me uh, this week we're working with the San Francisco 49ers so here I'm just gonna go through set my depth chart up I want to have L LMJ here at the second string halfback and I want to have him at the first string fullback and so I'll be setting my depth chart up and you see here I got my two wide receivers out now and so now what I want to do is when I'm done setting my depth chart I want to save it my my uh, quick go to quick save here by hitting select on PlayStation 3. I think it's back on Xbox, but remember to check that manual just to make sure. You want to hit all, save all, and you want to overwrite the save data to give you uh, to update it with your latest savings, your latest depth chart. And now you're going to see when I go out of this, and I'm going to come back in and show you my uh, depth chart has been has now been saved for this uh, for my session now. So so now I can go back out, and now I can go into my depth chart. And you're going to see here, it's going to load up with my latest saved data. I'm going to go in, I'm going to check it out. And as you can see, uh, my, it shows up as my first, my favorite team. I'm going to go down to the Niners now. And as you're going to see, well, Michael James has stayed in the second halfback slot and the first string fullback slot, which is now exactly what I wanted. So now I can back out of that. And since I didn't make any changes, I don't need to save. And now I can easily go into any quick match. Search for an opponent, and I now am going to go in. I'm going to show you 
when I click on the, uh, it's going to first start out with my favorite team. So, for example, me, I'm favorite. My favorite team is Dallas Cowboys. So, here we go. And I'm going to load it up. I'm just going to hit X to ready up. It's going to give me these options. I'm going to go down to advanced settings. And as you can see, it already has loaded up my red skins and my 44 defensive playbook. So this is the best way to set your settings in Madden NFL 25, but definitely customize them to your preferences and your likes and dislikes. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of Beginner Tips. I hope this gives you some grasp and saves you callous minutes as you go through Madden and helps you set your stuff up before you get into game. That way you don't have to be wasting time thinking about what your audibles are or what, your, what audibles you haven't set or what your depth chart is or whatever. You can just get in and game. Thank you for watching today, guys, and be sure to tune in to next week where we're going to break down the best way to set your depth chart in Madden NFL 25. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week.